Welcome back to my channel, everyone. This is AP Media. So today I'll be um, doing a quick breakdown on this um, particular design that I've done. All right. So um, in previous tutorials, I've talked about this particular. I've talked about this one. I've talked about this one. So today I'll be talking about the middle one. That is the second artboard. All right. So if this is the first time you're coming across my page or across my video, kindly subscribe to my channel here and turn on the notification bell so that anytime i drop a new video you will be notified right so you don't miss out on my update anytime i drop a new video right so in the course of the tutorial if you have any question if you need any clarification on anything you can drop a comment below and i'll be in the comment section i'll be reading through to answer any of your comments any of your questions any of your concerns all right so let's get right into the tutorial so like i've always done i'm going to turn off i'm going to turn off all the adverts of all the layers rather in this design okay i'm going to turn all of them off and i'll be breaking them down one after the other i'll be explaining the things that i did the ideas behind the things that i did okay so this is the flat um background you can see the first one this is the first one i've explained this one the video is um in this channel and i also created the playlist wedding design okay so in case you can't find it you can check the playlist wedding invitation designs also in my channel here so you find the breakdown of this one you find the breakdown of this one so let's talk about this so the first my first background was a plain white background which is like the default background you always get anytime you open a new um, project on Photoshop, right? So the first thing I did was add this effect. Um, yes. So this particular effect is in. I use this particular effect in this design. I used it. I used it in this design. So in case you need this effect, in case you need this effect to practice along um, this tutorial, you can check this video and check the description of this video. I dropped this effect in the description of this video so you can check there and download this particular effect okay so this is the effect that i used there so i just placed it at that corner okay next thing was to write the names and um, the idea i had for this particular design was to have a big text at the back then have the the image to rest on the text the way i have this frame at my at my back now a part of my head or a part of my head is resting on the frame on the wall right so that was the idea i had so i needed something that is very big if i had used a, a thinner font or something small it won't be visible so i needed something that is very big such that even if the head rests on it you can still see what is there and you can still read it so that was the idea i had so when i wrote this um let's look at this font this font is called bold bold by one sc all right the font for grace and john that's the font here then the font for words is black signature okay black signature you can search this font online or if you need the font you can also drop a comment below i can help you get the font directly to you okay so i then added this noise effect i've explained how this noise effect works and how i usually add it so let me still go over it in case you missed it so this is how the image is i downloaded this image from free Peak. so i changed the blend mode to screen was this screen i used i used lighter color okay so you can either use screen um lighting screen color dodge or any of this any of this category of blend mode. so for me um this lighter color gave it gave me what i wanted the most so i used lighter color then i used i brought in their image now if you look at this image let's look at how the whole image was so the image was like this this is the original image right and this part of the image was even out of the frame so I increase the image to have something like this. So if you notice, a part of the head here is covering the O, and a part of the head here is covering the M. But you can still see it 
read it as John. Okay, you can still easily think that okay, this is grace. That that is J. That should be O H N because our eyes don't um, our eyes don't read words alphabet by alphabet. Right? That is why if they write the word characteristics and they remove one word one letter from inside characteristics, ninety percent or ninety nine percent of um, the readers will still read, read it as characteristics before you now go back and check and be like no. There's something wrong, right? So our eyes don't read um, text. Our eyes don't read words letter by letter. We look at the first, the last, the middle, or somewhere, and we decide that this is what this is saying. Right? So that was what I did in this part. And let's look at the next one. Let's look at the next one layer. Okay, um, I learned this effect from I think Nana Multimedia. Um, it's like uh, light or thunderbolt. Yeah, I think that's what thunderbolt. But I created this with my pen too. So with my pen to click like this, come like this, go back, and like this. So you click outside and come back to the starting point. So that was how I created this. The, this shape so i wanted to i wanted to write something at the front or i wanted to place some images at the front so i needed to throw this the first image to the back so that was why i drew this image then look i brought in this image okay i brought in this image i added the shadow to it um i brought another image here Okay, this image and the shadow of this image also. Okay, so that was that. Then I had this. Now you can see if you can see from my layers here, we have M. Yeah. So this M, this is what it is here. This is a font. This circle we have here. I think I've explained this before, but I'll still go over it. So this font is called Against Madness against madness so if you want to write so when you select the font it's going to give you something something like this it will give you different different elements you can use from so the letter m let's see the letter m on my keyboard let's verify if this is m let's change this to any random font okay so you can see that this is letter m Oh, this is not even giving us M very well. Let's use monument for example. So you can see that this is letter M, right? When we change this to against madness, against madness, we'll be having something like this. So that was what I used for for this one. Then of course, because of the way this uh, thunderbolt is going towards that direction i had to rotate this one to give me this angle okay so that was what i did there and i wrote the date inside with my favorite font new list okay so i wrote that and let's this one say let's zoom out okay Let's zoom out. Let's see. So we now have something like this. Yeah, and the next thing was okay. I didn't add this. I didn't use this particular one. Was to add light. Okay, this my uh, me is the lens flare I added here. This is how the lens flare is. Is it lens flare? This is like rainbow light effect. Okay, this is rainbow light effect I added. I changed the blend mode to screen. Okay, so if you follow this tutorial up to this point again and you are not yet subscribed, kindly hit the subscription button below. Subscribe to this channel because it will help me to encourage me and it will help me do more breakdown of my videos for you on this channel. Okay, so 
subscribe to this um, channel ap media and if you have any question also kindly drop your question in the comment section below okay so let's wrap up now so let's wrap up let's wrap up um i was done um and now i added this light effect around this part of our head okay i've explained i explained this one in this tutorial in this design also if you notice the things i did here this part of our head here i added that same light around this part so if you want to know how i created this light go and check this video okay you see the breakdown of how i created this light so that was that i added this flower is this a flower yes it is like a flower i just added it at that part to fill up the design i added this one and i added a general the same noise effect that i used for the back i added it generally on the design and i added the layer mask on it okay let me disable the layer mask because when i added it now it's not too much look at it is interfering with some part of the face which will make it too much so i had to add some layer mask add layer mask to it and brush off some part of um the noise effect from the design okay so that was how i um was able to do all of the design and i exported okay so if you want to export this particular artboard now you can come down to your uh, file export and export as okay so after i click on that all your adverbs are going to come out so you can if you want to export all the adverbs you can export but if you want to export a specific adverb you can uncheck this and let's see this now so adverb 2 you can now you can set the quality to the highest me i like to export the highest quality always high quality always okay i don't like all of these ones except maybe the platform wants me to do something lesser okay so i like to do great then export so you can then select the location of where wherever you want to keep it and you export and you send your design out okay so this is going to bring me to the end of this tutorial if you learned a bit or two um, kindly drop it in the comment section let me know what you learned in this um, tutorial and if if you have any question if you need me to clarify on anything also let me know i'll be willing to answer your questions all right in the comment section so if you found this helpful kindly like this video share this video amongst um creatives amongst anybody that you think this information is going to be useful to kindly share this video with them and until i come your way again i remain ap media